Where's the dog? Good question. I haven't heard it for a while. Listen, I'll help you get to Spasov. Somehow, Indica was convinced that the Kudets was going to solve all of her problems. That soon the voice in her head would disappear and she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. I figured out what this place is. This is Denisovka. The paint factory. Marfa told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. Where is everyone? There was an explosion. They say everyone was evacuated in one day. Americans, I guess. Very likely. Or the English. There should be a station behind the windmill. of something. <gasps> exactly what we need. Stay underwater, huh? I don't know. I'd wait for a couple of hours just to be sure. The stairs are. 
broken. We'll have to go through the mill. family on the wall with his own shit. He looked so lifelike. What? He was like that. Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. He got stabbed. Because of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. It was minus 30 degrees. Shit doesn't really stink when it's cold. Stabbed. This one. Well, it's against the code. So where do we go now? The elevator. Here's the gearing. Planetary gear set. By by blocking one of the wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. I see. I guess we should look for an intact cotter. I see. It doesn't fucking work. Nothing works here right now. What's the hold up? It's a cotter, a safeguard. It breaks when there's an overload to protect the important parts of the engine. I see. It was bad. It was sinful. There are no sinners among dogs. Only humans can sin. 
Tempted by the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. He needed to survive. To find the most promising partner, give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? Finally, the station. Does a, does a dog have a soul? Dogs adore their masters. Is that even possible without a soul? Does one need a soul to feel love? Is it possible to love without a body? What remains if you deprive a dog of a body? How can it love something it can't hear or sniff? How can it remember someone it loves if it loses its brain with its memories? In a world without bones, cold, procreation, beautiful women, rich men, bodies, basically, passion, kindness, love. Can any of it exist without the body? For a dog. What? Ah, uh, yes, F for a dog. Crane could move it. If this thing still works, it's a miracle. How can I detach the load? Gotta figure it out. Why figure it out? It works anyway, right? Look, there's a platform on the other side. the next train? What if it's tomorrow? The station must have the schedule. 
What's the point? I, I don't think it's going to stop here. So what do we do? Have you read Mark Twain? Tom Sawyer? Yes. So... I like it. Me too. Watch it! Ideas are so strange for a nun. Those aren't my ideas. I mean, I didn't choose the monastery life. Were you sent there against your will or something? Not against my will. I mean, when you're 15, the monastery isn't really a dream destination. There was no other way. Sometimes there are circumstances. You have a choice with a monastery. Or... Cir circumstances? You, you were 15. And now you're like an angel of God, even though you're black all over. I, 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 I mean, you're close. You're close to black. Or oh, anything else? Fallen? How? Oh. Yellow, yellow ticket or something? What? Only known one. Have you, have you been married? No, never. Why am I even explaining myself to you?
we going? Oh, this is the Spasol Fish Factory. I think nobody's there now. That's good. And the line to the city's always open. How do you know all this? Have you worked there? Oh, not a chance. My mum worked there. Loading. Be quiet. Oh. What are you doing? Fuck! Fuck! it off, no matter how she tried. I even loved that smell. She was shy about it. Whenever she had to go to the store or was summoned to my school, she, she used some unbearable perfume. It would tickle my fucking nose whenever she hugged me. Where is she now? I, I don't know.
Not again. it feels to take my wimple off. My head's so itchy all the time. We're not even allowed to sleep without it. It's not like anything, anyone will see you. You can take it off. And the Dean walks around all night checking on us. Really? It's just like the screws in the clink. Mardine is more like a warden. She also manages the coin and assigns our bunks. And... Small from your arm is unbearable. We have to go. So the monastery wasn't your choice? It was. But when your decision has a reason, is it really a choice? When a brook hits a rock, does it choose which way to go? Fuck me, you're, you're, you're not broke. You, you have your own free will. Free will. Choices. But whenever we make a choice, don't we base it on our previous experience? Don't we estimate all the possible benefits in our head? And if we go against the rational, don't we realize that we're being driven by our emotions, by our passions? Do you understand? As I was saying, our will helps us to control our passions. Resist temptation. That's true. But when you control your emotions, there's always a reason, right? You can explain why you're doing it, build a string of logic. If the soul didn't exist, all that remains would be your logical ship. How the fuck can one live without a soul? Humans haven't learned that yet. Ugh. Ask him if he knows what a soul even is. Everyone says soul this, soul that, but can anyone clearly explain what it is? Yes, but even a soul has its own inclinations. But let's say your soul gravitates towards God, and mine doesn't. Is that my choice then? Or 
in theory, let, let's imagine that the choice isn't based on anything. What kind of choice is it then? Pure chance. Wait, so, so you're saying choice is an empty word? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't even understand the point of this whole choice thing, this freedom that God has graced us with. Why would God need our so-called freedom if in the end he's only satisfied with strictly defined choices? He could have just made me in a way he would have liked me. play? No. I do. Once I played at Bats. Where? F and Bats. He owns a tavern. You played in front of people? I've got a standing ovation. Can you play something? before. what I think. Oh, shit. Here we go again. I'm not telling you anything from now on. Oh, come on, I, I, I'm joking. Tell me, you, you were wondering about freedom. Why did God make you free? Here, here's what I think. If I were the Tsar, 
I wouldn't want my wife to be a slave. I, I would find myself a free girl that can love me genuinely. Do you, do you understand? Yes, it's a good example. But now imagine if your czar has found himself a girl he loves. Can you? So? So he confesses his feelings to her and invites her to his palace. So? And now imagine that the czar also says, if you come, I will drape you in gold. And if you don't, I'll hang you on a hook and burn you slowly. This also requires her to return his feelings. I see where you're going with this. But it's not God who burns people in hell. That would be those damn demons, enemies of mankind. Very well. In this case, the Tsar says, if you come, I'll cover you in gold. And if you don't, Parfum the Butcher will catch you, hang you on a hook, and burn you slowly. I love you endlessly, but can't do anything about it. Think about it. If even the Tsar can't actually do anything about this Butcher because of some unclear circumstances, why can't he just stay silent? So you're, you're saying nobody can love God genuinely? No. No, it's not like that. We have to check one place before the line. Where? You'll see. I've hidden something there. All right. Exactly. We have to go over there. It's not that complicated. Do we really need it? You'll see.
Are we even allowed here? There's nobody here. Everyone's asleep. The one on the right is ours. It's called a stroboscope effect, like looking through a bike wheel. Yeah, well, uh... <clears throat> well, I mean, it's pretty. here just for this. I'll show you. Mm-hmm. 
Lie down, lie down. I'm all right. Everything's going to be all right. Otherwise, you would have... Lie down. Shush. 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 It's against God's plan. You went against God. Against God, not in the slightest. This is not that bad. Please be, be still. Be quiet, please. Please. Not, not that bad, huh? Will it go back? Why not? It's not like it's harder for God to work one miracle than... <laughs> You didn't, you didn't believe in it from the start. You were angry that a miracle could happen to me. No. To, to a person like me. No. I'm so, so dumb and jealous. Give me an injection. None left. Oh, this, this time, this, this wasn't just... Empty talk. I know. All this philosophy. <laughs> Joy Scott. God doesn't talk to me anymore since I met you. No. Leave me. I'll be on, on my own. I'm sorry. Don't. For the first time since meeting Ilya, Indica felt a stab of doubt. What if she'd made a mistake? What if she had done something wrong? What if the Kudyets wouldn't work? Why was every step on her road to God drawing her closer to the devil? I did everything correctly. Otherwise he would have died from sepsis. And if he didn't? There! He's healed! A miracle! Wouldn't feel good, would it? That means he was indeed talking to God and earned his absolution. God, please. Talk to me this one time. How did I go against you? Is it in my power to intervene in your design? Is this a part of your plan? Is this how it's supposed to be? It will be all right. The arm will heal. Ilya will live. So now I have to feel guilt for this as well? You can see I'm trying. But he's always behind my shoulder. Me again. You were driven by fear. The fear of ending up with a corpse. And back then, with the gypsy. What was it? Were you restless because of his tanned arms?
temple of John of Damascus. The one from the poster was towering over Indica. She was consumed by anxiety more and more. What if she was late? What if they realized who she was and wouldn't let her in? What if she was not worthy of a miracle? Maybe one needed to buy a ticket to see the miracle and all the tickets had sold out. What if her certainty in God's plan was just another delusion, a temptation she so faint-heartedly succumbed to? to her. You don't like it? That the prioress cut it as punishment? It wasn't a big deal. I burned Father Sergei's Felonian 